For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the domain and range of linear function. And also, we are going to include how to find the domain and range of inverse linear function. And we are going to explain everything in details. In finding the domain and range of linear function, there are two different cases that you need to remember. The first one, if the linear function is written in the form of y equals to k, the domain is the set of all real numbers while the range is equal to the value of k. So let's have the first example. On number 1, we have y equals to 8. So as you can see, this function is written in the form of y equals to k. So to write the domain, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers. So this will be our domain. And to write the range, let us have range is the set of values of y such that y equals to 8. And this will be our range. And to find the domain and range of inverse linear function, always remember, the domain of the original function is the range of the inverse function. And the range of the original function is the domain of the inverse function. So let us have the inverse of linear function. Let us have the domain. Domain is the set of x values such that x equals to 8. So this will be our domain. And to write the range, let us have range is the set of values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers and this will be our range on example number two we have y equals negative eight so as you can see the value of k is negative so to write the domain let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers so this will be our domain and to write the range Range is the set of y values such that y equals negative 8. And this will be our range. And to find the domain and range of the inverse linear function, always remember the domain of the original function is the range of the inverse function. And the range of the original function is the domain of the inverse function. So let us have the domain and range of inverse linear function. So let us have the domain is the set of x values such that x equals negative 8. So this will be our domain. And to write the range, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. This will be our answer. On the second set of example, if the linear function is written in the form of slope-intercept form, that is y equals mx plus b, where m is not equal to 0, the domain and range is always the set of all real numbers. On example number 1, we have y equals 3x plus 7. As you can see, the given function is written in the form of y equals mx plus b. And to write the domain, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers. So this will be our domain. And to find the range, let us have range is the set of values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers. And this will be our range. And to find the domain and range of inverse linear function, since the domain and range is the set of all real numbers, Therefore, the domain and range of inverse linear function is also the set of all real numbers, and this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 7. So as you can see, the given equation is written in the form of y equals mx plus b. And to write the domain, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of of all real numbers and to find the range let us have 
range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. So this will be our domain and this will be our range. And to find the domain and range of inverse linear function, since the domain and range is the set of all real numbers, therefore, the domain and range of inverse linear function is also the set of all real numbers. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.